Hi everyone, Gene here with Mahalo.com. Sometimes if pencil lead is too soft, it can give you a darker line than you want. The same is true of brush bristles or pen tips. If you have the wrong size, shape, or amount of wear, you may need to use a different instrument, and sometimes you'll be throwing them away entirely. If this ever happens to you in Photoshop, you can simply adjust the size, shape, or even hardness of your brush. So the first thing we need to do is open up the brush panel. And we do that again by going to the window menu and dropping down to where it says brush, just clicking on it. The brush panel is the area where we're going to be changing and creating different brushes. You can see here that we have a bunch of presets that Photoshop provides for us. And before we get too deep into this, there's one cool new feature that I want to show you if you have a Wacom tablet. So these brushes right here that have drawings rather than the icon of what the brush is going to look like when you use it are called bristle brushes. They have their own special icon down at the bottom of the brush panel, and if you click on this little eye here, it shows you which angle that you're holding your pen on your tablet, and it also shows you how much pressure you're applying when you draw a stroke. If you get a brush with longer bristles, you'll find that they actually spread out based on the pressure and angle that you're holding your pen at. As you can see, I'm not moving the position of the brush on the canvas, but I am changing the angle and the pressure that I'm holding my pen on the Wacom tablet. Once you get used to this, this is going to create some real interesting results for you. And it attempts to behave much more like a regular paintbrush. Alright, so with the bristle brush feature out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and turn that off because it'll definitely distract me. Let's talk about creating your new brush. Basically it's laid out like this. Here are the default brushes that Photoshop provides you. Then over here you have all of the settings for each of those brushes, and if you click on one of these settings here, it opens up all of the different sliders that you can adjust. Now, as I said before, the bristle brushes are a special case, so they're going to give you less sliders to play with because they act in a different way and they have more programming going into them, so they don't have as many options for us to control yet. But I'm sure in the next iteration of Photoshop, we're going to basically be able to decide what we want our brush to be made of. That's how intricate it's going to be. In the meantime, I'm going to go back to the brush tip shape. I'm going to select just a regular 30 pixel round brush, and now I can start changing some of the sliders. I can change the base size of the brush. I can come in here and change the shape of the brush. I can change the angle and roundness just by dragging my mouse or the pen on my Wacom tablet. I can adjust the hardness and I can adjust the spacing. Over here to the left, we're going to find all kinds of different settings that we can adjust. In a later tutorial, I'm going to take you step by step through creating a brand new brush from scratch. For now, if you want to experiment with any of these options, they all function the same way. Simply select the option that you want to customize. That brings up the sliders that you can then adjust. Play around with it a little bit until you get exactly what you're looking for. There's a lot of customization to be found in here. As you know, this panel works hand in hand with the brush presets panel. So eventually, after we're done creating a brush, if you have something that you're really fond of, click over to the brush presets, and you can add your preset to your current group of tools. Also, while in the brush presets menu, if you want to change any of the attributes of any of the brushes in your current tool set, select the tool that you want to change, and then come up here and click on the brush panel icon. That'll bring you back into the brush panel, where you can then change the attributes of the newly selected brush. Well, that's all for now. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe below, and send any questions that you might have to requests at mahalo.com. Thanks for watching.